everyone, and welcome to the Grace Harbor College High School Completion Graduation Ceremony. My name is Diane Smith, and I run transition programs here at the college, and I get to be the first one to stand here at this podium and say congratulations, graduates. milestone in your educational career and you have much to be proud about. We have graduates here in their teens and we have graduates here in their 40s. The path each of you has taken to get to this point has been very different, but the goal has been the same, finish high school. So we are here tonight to celebrate you and this great accomplishment. Part of my job tonight is to keep the program moving smoothly so that we can get you back with your family and friends to have a true celebration of your accomplishment. To do that, it's my pleasure to introduce some of the folks sitting here on stage with me. Um, I would first like to introduce two board members who are with us here this evening, Rebecca Chafee and Dr. Harry Cartham. is kind of a behind the scenes group, but ultimately they set the direction and focus for Grace Harbor College. The fact that two of their members are here this evening shows their support of transitions in our mission to help adults finish high school, which is critical to our continued work. So we're very appreciative of their time and them joining us this evening. at different points in our program this evening. Um, but right now, I would like to introduce uh, the person next on our program. Dr. Jim Minkler is president of Grace Harbor College, and he's just finishing his first year at the helm of the college. I can tell you that um, whenever there's a new president at the college, those of us who are responsible for programs are always very concerned uh, about how, how supportive are they going to be of our programs as someone new to the college. Uh, that doubt or any concern was erased very quickly uh, because Dr. Dr. Minkler has been very supportive of transitions and what we do as a key part of the overall mission of the college. So please welcome Dr. Minkler. Thank you, Diane. Welcome, high school completion class of 2017, faculty and staff at Grace Harbor College, and families and friends of the graduates. I want to congratulate you for completion. I want to congratulate you for your tenacity, your perseverance, sticking to it, and getting the job done. I want to ask you a question right now. How many of you doubted that you would complete your, your high school completion program? How many doubted? See you. Show of hands. All right. I think that some of you doubted yourselves. What I'm going to tell you right now, tonight is marking when the, your teachers and the staff and administration here at Grace Harbor College believe in you. We know that you're achievers. This evening's event marks that. Your friends and families have sought, have, have helped you, supported you, and here you are, showing them that you're achievers, you're completers. So, from tonight, we're celebrating the fact that you have accomplished what you set out to do. You never gave up, you overcame, some of you, I'm sure, many obstacles, and yet, you stuck to it and you achieved. So don't ever doubt the most important thing that you yourselves know, that you're achievers, you completed. Don't ever doubt yourself again. From this night forward, you can do it. Congratulations, class of 2017. Thank you, Dr. Minkler. And I think we would all concur with your thoughts there. Throughout the evening, I'm going to be 
extending some thank yous and introducing um, some important people here joining us this evening who have contributed to um, the fact that we can all be here tonight to celebrate. Um, one of the important uh, students that I'm uh, pleased to introduce is, I believe it was last week, maybe the week before, Grace Harbor College held a ceremony and handed out some student awards. Um, each department at the college has the opportunity to choose a student of the year, and in transitions, we also had that opportunity. Uh, the recipient of the transition student of the year is one of you fellow graduates tonight. So, Alicia Butterfield, would you stand up? So congratulations. Another important student here tonight is on stage with us. She is a current Grace Harbor College student who earned her high school diploma in the spring of 2015. She started classes on a path to a degree um, that very next fall and this year has completed one year working toward a degree in business technology. Not only is she working toward that, but she is doing that very successfully and has been on the honor roll almost every quarter since starting those classes. Um, so it's my distinct pleasure to introduce our student speaker for this evening, Alyssa Fitzpatrick. In 2015, I decided that I wanted to finally obtain my high school diploma. It was a big decision to make. I was nervous about succeeding and how much time it would take away from my boys. I worried about how I was going to make it financially and if I was smart enough to do it. I had a huge issue with self-doubt. But in the end, the fear of not doing it was far worse. I didn't want to be old with no money or no way to survive. I wanted better for myself and for my boys. In June of the same year, I obtained my high school diploma. It felt like a huge weight lifted off of me. I had finally done it. I was a high school graduate at the age of 37 years old. In the fall of 2015, I enrolled into college. I worked hard. I had to figure out how to navigate the system. I stuck with it despite the frustrations and the tears. There were times I wanted to give up, but I didn't. Now, I only have three quarters left before I graduate in June 2018 with an Associates in Applied Science Business Technology degree. This summer, I will be interning with the Grace Harbor County Assessor. My goal when I graduate is to work for the state or the county. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has had people telling me that I was too old or it was too late. It was even something I told myself but I proved them all wrong, including me. Returning to school was the right decision, but it wasn't an easy one. During this time, I had realized the importance of furthering my education. I worked hard, and I'm achieving an important milestone and goal beyond what I thought I could accomplish. I have made my family, my boys, instructors, but more importantly, myself and those people around me very proud. You all today have that same sense of pride in those people in your life who are equally proud of you. Earning your high school credential requires commitment, time, hard work, perseverance, and you mastered all of those skills to be here today. You have taken the first steps by earning your high school diploma. Now you can move forward with your head held high, knowing you can achieve anything with dedication and persistence. You should have every confidence that you will succeed from here on out. Congratulations to you all. You've all earned it. Thank you.
you so much, Alyssa, for your words of wisdom. Great job, and congratulations on your continued academic success at the college. Success in the classroom and completing high school would not be possible without the great work of the instructors that we have in transitions. I am so proud of our faculty because they are so very dedicated to helping you, the students, complete your goals and learn and move on to uh, jobs and employability in the careers of your choice. Tonight, I am pleased to announce that two of our instructors just today received some special recognition. The Disability Support Services Department recognizes people and departments who go the extra mile to support students with disabilities. Two of our faculty received this award. And I'm gonna read just a little bit from a letter that I received today about one of those faculties, uh, about one of those instructors acknowledging their receipt of this award. It says, this instructor reminds me of a story that we had to write about, a teacher that changed your life. Another student said she will help you when you are having a hard time or a bad day. And a third student said she made me realize that I'm smarter than I thought. So I'd like to extend my congratulations to Sarah Aiken for going the extra mile. Also receiving this award from the Disabilities uh, Department is Paula Frankie. Um, Paula is one of our math instructors in transitions, and her uh, letter states that it is with, with much thanks and appreciation for your respectful approach and collaborative work with students and their disabilities. So congratulations to Paula as well. two of the amazing instructors that are in transitions. And now I would like to ask all of the teachers here this evening to stand as we acknowledge your dedication and hard work uh, to the students, not only those here tonight, but in all of your classes. So faculty, please stand and accept our appreciation.
Well, if you really want to know how transitions works, talk to our staff and our support people. These important people in our department keep transitions doing what we should be doing. They support our instructors. They certainly support me. And they've supported all of you and all of our students. Because of their great work day in and day out, our department, Transitions, has also been recognized by the Disability Support Services for going the extra mile. Their recognition extends to their respectful approach and professionalism as they work with students with disabilities. I can tell you on a day in and day out basis, um, they truly make transitions work. And without them, we'd all be in a mess. So um, their names are on the back of your program, along with all of our faculty. And I'm not sure where they're all scattered around uh, the Bishop Center tonight, but for those of you that are staff and support people for transitions, will you please stand and accept our appreciation for the great work you do day in and day out. Celebrate, have fun, be safe, 
but then go forth and celebrate both the big achievements and accomplishments and the small steps that lay in your future. Look for things to be happy about and always celebrate. Oh, be open. Be open to new ideas, new places, new foods, new cultures, new people. There are so many exciting things to experience in this world. And since I started school in 1956 to now, the ability to retrieve information, to get in touch with people you may never see, but with whom you can converse and form relationships is just mind-boggling. So be open. Don't close yourself off, but spread your wings to new ideas. Mistakes. We all make them. I've made a lot of them. Um, I make them every day. Don't try and excuse the mistakes you made. Own up to them. Admit them. Apologize. Correct your behavior, correct the mistake, learn and move on. Do not let mistakes define you. M is for mind your manners. Robert Fulgham in his book, All I Really Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, had it right, but it's something we always forget. Share everything. Play fair. Don't hit people. Please, say please, say thank you, put things back where you found them, say your story, mind your manners. E is for engage, become involved, share in your community, volunteer at your children's school, volunteer at PAWS, volunteer and help others. Wherever you go, try to engage with the people around you and help make this world a better place. N is for never. Never say never, my father would say, and I'd go, no, I'm never going to do that. And he'd say, never say never, and you know what? Everything I ever said I will never do, I ended up doing. So, some of you might have thought, I will never graduate. I will never understand math. Don't limit yourself. I'll give an example of someone who doesn't limit herself. Right now, playing on HBO, there is a special that has been produced by Carl Reiner, who himself is a 95-year-old successful comedian, actor, and director, and writer. And the title of that documentary, documentary is If You Wait, If You're Not in the Obituary, Eat Breakfast. Good idea. Uh, in that HBO uh, special, he features a woman named Ida Keeley, and you can Google her on the internet. She is 102 years old, who started running marathons at the age of 67 as a way to overcome the depression and grief she suffered when her two sons were murdered. Ida today holds master's records in both the 60 and 100 meter race. She, if you watch her run, she's, you know, not 102. She doesn't move fast, but she starts and she finishes. I sit there and say, okay, I'm retiring, I'm 65. Um, I better not say never and I better get going because if I can do it, so can I, or at least a little bit. C, converse. I can't tell you how important it is to talk to people face to face. I understand this is a generation of smartphones, texting, internet, tweeting, Twitter, whatever. I don't do a lot of that stuff. Remember, I'm 65, right? But uh, why I don't do it is because there is nothing better than looking at the people in the eye, in person, when you talk to them. Right now, our world is angry. There is so much going on. And let me tell you, it is a lot harder to be mean or to be um, negative
when you have to face that person and see the actual effect your words have on them. So converse in person every chance you get. E is for embrace. Embrace those who helped you get here tonight. Give them a hug. Embrace your children. Embrace your community. Use what you have learned, and I encourage you to keep learning. Remember, you're commencing, not stopping. I encourage you to embrace the future. Welcome it, accept it, adapt to it, and go forward. Commence. A better definition or a less proper dictionary definition of commence is to get the ball rolling. So I've had enough time to give you my thoughts. I say let's get over with these speeches and hand out diplomas. Congratulations.
Laura Mena. <laughs> Melissa Nieto. <laughs> Nick Appletoft. <laughs> Jessica Hill. Okay, Lori, you're on one more time. Okay, graduates, could you please stand? All right. Take your tassel, put it from the left, the right side to the left. 